Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'm going to review this Mamba F4 Mini Power Tower all in one stack from Diatone. I needed an all in one flight controller and ESC for an ultralight Cinewoop build, so I ordered this Mamba stack, which looks pretty good. The main reason for choosing it really was weight. I mean, this is only, let's have a look. 12.7, 12.8 grams, and although that doesn't include a receiver or VTX, this is going to be perfect for an ultralight build. Plus, it was super cheap. I mean, £31 in the UK, or about $40, that's a crazy price for what you get. And I'll probably be using an XM Plus receiver and an Nano VTX, so all the electronics for this build will be about 15 grams in total. And the stack is basically a 20x20 20 20 mount with an F405, F4 mini beta flight controller on the top and a 20 amp all-in-one ESC board on the bottom. And they're connected by this short cable which makes a very neat package that's only 20 millimeters high. So it'll easily fit into a two or three inch build. And although it's a 20x20 20 20 mount, the actual size of the stack this way is about 30 by 30. On the flight controller board there's a pretty standard combo of an STM32 F405 MCP and a 6 axis MPU6000 gyro and that will run off 3 or 4S LiPos. And we've got 16 meg of flash black box memory and the, the flight controller is very nicely mounted with these soft mounts, which is pretty common on lots of diatone products these days. There's also a 5 volt 1 amp back and an 807456 OSD built onto the board. And it also supports, as you would expect, SBUS, PPM and smart port. And wiring this up should be pretty easy, and I'll run through the PCB connections in detail a bit later, but beware. The solder pads, like the whole stack, are small, so you'll need good soldering skills to wire this up. And because it's so small, there's obviously no room along here to label the pads on the PCB silk screening. So you'll need to refer back to the manual pretty often. And coming off here, these two wires are for connecting to an external buzzer, which is quite nice, but it's not included in the kit. The 4-in-1 ESC on the bottom stack is also soft mounted, not sure why, but this is a Mamba F25HV ESC that's specced at 20 amps continuous and 25 amps for up to 5 seconds. Don't get confused by the manual that says 25 amps 5S and assume it'll work on 5S LiPos. What it means is a five second burst at 25 amps. So let's have a quick look under here. Very nicely made. So here we go. Uh, we've got the current sensor down here. It all looks very nice. And there's plenty of filter capacitors scattered about on here, which is good. And Diatone also supply a low ESR 470 microfarad capacitor salt to solder it across the power supply pins to reduce noise. All very nice. And it's all very nicely built. And just like all Diatone products, they don't just throw things together, they design them. And even the packaging has got, you know, this sort of quirky flair to it, which is always very interesting. Now, this stack is very similar to their Mamba F405 30x30 stack. And apart from the weight and the size, they are exactly the same spec, except this only has two UARTs rather than three, and the back is only one amp rather than two amps, and the F405 on the 30x30 stack will run on 6S, and this is only 4S maximum. And I'm pretty sure that this is the stack diatone use on their latest ready-to-fly quads. Basically, I think it's replaced their old GT M2 stack. And at the bottom of the packaging that you get, 
and Dietone are the kings of packaging. Let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got this interesting sort of wiring diagram I'll come back to. So in here there's this low ESR 470 microfarad capacitor to power, so to solder across your power pins to reduce the noise. There's an XT30 connector and some silicon leads and a spare interconnect cable. Dietone are great on spares when they package stuff. And here we've got the pin out. Let's have a look. So there we go. You're going to have to refer to this quite carefully because, like I say, there's no lay silk screening on the, the PCB. You're going to have to pick it up on here. And we can just connect in our camera directly. There's five volts for powering the camera. Ground video in. And we've got some spare. This is the uh, smart port. And we've got uh, connections for PPM and S bus. And this all looks looks pretty good, nice and easy. But the pins are pretty small, I have to say. So this is the wiring. <laughs> it's a great little piece of packaging. This typically diatome. So we've got here our board and we can just connect in the buzzer which is on this flying lead here uh, wiring the camera it's got power direct uh, VTX with smart port there's four connections on there um, like I say these aren't labeled on here but you're gonna have to refer back to to this fantastic manual um, and we can wire up our receiver this is using s bus by the looks of it and you connect up your xt30 and it's got pinouts here which i forgot to mention at the top for your led programmable led board now i think this looks great as an all-in-one solution for um, small builds and it's super cheap um, and I need to get building now because I can't wait to see how this performs and I'll keep you posted on how it goes thanks for watching and if you found that useful give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and if it's your first visit then subscribe to the channel for updates I'll see you next time